In this problem, we have to find the intervals on which the vector value function is smooth. So this vector value function will be smooth whenever each of these component functions have a continuous derivative and whenever they're both not zero at the same time. So the first thing we do in this problem is we let x be equal to 4t to the fourth. Then we let y be equal to negative t cubed. These are our component functions. The next thing we do to find out where it's smooth is we take the derivative. So x prime. So 4 times 4 is 16. So 16. Then you subtract 1. So t cubed. And over here, y prime would be equal to, let's see, you put the 3 in the front. So that's negative 3 t to the 2 because you subtract 1. So again, it's smooth if these are continuous, which they are, and they're not both 0 at the same time. So in other words, we're going to find out where it's not smooth by setting them both equal to 0. So in all of these smooth problems, you basically call this, the, call this piece here x, call this piece here y, take the derivatives, and set them both equal to 0. And the answer will tell you where it's not smooth. So in the first case, we can divide by 16. So you get t cubed equals 0, which means that t is 0. You can take the cube root of both sides or, or just plug in 0, and you'll notice that you do get 0. So that's one answer. And over here, we also get 0. So because 0 is an answer to both equations, 0 makes both of these derivatives 0 at the same time. So t equals 0 is the, is the number where it's not smooth. So it's smooth everywhere except 0. So if you put 0 on a number line and you do this, we get all of this and all of this. So it would be negative infinity to 0. That would be one answer. And the other one would be 0 to infinity. These would be the two intervals where the function is smooth. That's it.